Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you can all relate to the school year being extremely exhausting. While the students complain constantly, it's the parents that really have something to complain about. Parents sacrifice precious hours of sleep to make sure their children are dressed, fed, and ready for the day. Mornings are rushed, emotions are high, and you barely have time to prepare yourself for the day before you're stuck in the school drop-off lines for what seems like hours. Once you finally get through those extremely long lines, you are in a time crunch. You have to get to work, you've not had breakfast, and you need a boost of energy to get yourself through the day. Coffee shop lines are just as long as the school drop-off lines. This is quite the challenge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have created a solution. We present to you the Devil's Brew, the muscle for your hustle. I'm Jane Skeens, the Chief Executive Officer. I'm Sophia Ortiz, the Director of Ma Marketing. I'm Dominic Dos Santos, the IT guy. I'm Kendall Queen, the Director of Management. I'm Enzo Frisola, the Chief Financial Officer. And, and we, we are the, the Brew Crew. Crew. The idea for this business was founded by Jason and Karma Crum. We have taken their idea and expanded it to Russell Schools. Our mission is to cater to our dedicated parents in the school lines by making them more convenient and efficient. Mr. and Mrs. Crum started this project at Greenup County and Russell Raceland Worthington Schools. They have worked diligently into, to organize their business in a way that provides educational opportunities to students while making a profit. Their outreach program introduces entrepreneurship in a way that is appealing. It also provides an option for those who find their capabilities more suited for skills found outside of the classroom. Using 37 Coffee, we have created a program that caters to Russell's student body. Anyone that's been to Russell knows how backed up the lines are. This creates a problem for working parents that don't have time to stop at inconsistent coffee shops. We plan to fix this issue by providing an easy to order option suitable for the Russell community to get their morning cup of joe. With our established teams and set goals, we plan on using our profit to invest in our business and educate the youth. In expanding this business to Russell schools, we set short and long-term goals. Having achieved some of these short-term goals, we're looking towards making a profit, expanding our business to other school districts, and finding a way to be available year-round. In breaking routine from the previous two years as COVID restrictions relax, we will motivate students to work toward our goals while implementing the importance of entrepreneurship. As we transition back to school, we are serving our loyal coffee drinkers at the Devil's Brew. In comparison to our jam-packed competitors, our coffee is only $3. In buying our product, our customers will not be breaking the bank. In order to endorse the Devil's Brew, we have created a survey, an Instagram page that is thriving, and will work with our administrators to inform students through morning and afternoon announcements. Due to increased interest, Steve Barfield, the owner of Ashland Chick-fil-A, offered to incorporate his four-count chicken mini. As a result, we will support local businesses such as Meg's Bakery, Pappy's Kitchen, and Dairy Queen and McDonald's by offering their most popular breakfast item on our menu each day. We had previously used the Remind app for orders and loyalty cards to eliminate cash. In keeping our promise of being convenient, we have developed our own app that allows for easy order placement and a way to better reach the community. We have estimated our startup costs and our Russell administrators have met with us and agreed to grant us a one-time loan of merely $350. We have started paying this money back and will continue to do so as our profit increases. Here at the Devil's Brew, we value the environment. We make sure our products are biodegradable and recyclable. Starbucks, one of our competitors, lines their cups with polyethylene plastic. This is not eco-friendly and contributes to the 23 tons of waste emitted into the world yearly. Similar coffee shops have been started at multiple nearby school districts since 2019. Due to this being a seasonal business, there are only so many days we can operate. Over the last three years, as business increased, the COVID-19 pandemic had significantly decreased the numbers of days we could sell. But our profits per day have continued to grow. As we are in school more, we predict to see these numbers rise. The Devil's Brew aims to create a rewarding and realistic business environment that interests our students. Our hope is to encourage students to be creative, solve problems, and work as a team. As we work towards these goals, we hope that our outreach program will bring new opportunities to our youth and in turn, benefit the community. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation and we invite you to take part in the Devil's Brew.
the muscle for your Russell Hustle. Now we would like Dominic to show you some of the features on our app. <clears throat> So here's our app. I actually made it from scratch. So on our app, we're able to log in. So let's say I logged into my account. And I can now order stuff on the app. So we've got our daily specials, because what we're doing is we're selling coffee and backed up lines that are pretty much at a standstill. So in addition to coffee, you can also buy a breakfast item from one of our um, sponsors that's partnering with us. So each day there is a different menu option, like thanks to Steve Barfield, we've got our chicken minis on Mondays. And on Tuesdays, we have our Meg's Glazed Donuts. Meg's Bakery is a local bakery in our area. So we also got our amazing brew crew right here. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> so now if you'd like to order, we just need simple identification so we can find your car. So if I, lived, er, if I drove in a red Toyota, I could simply input that. And I could put that I, I would love coffee, and I would take three coffees. And I'd also want sugar, but maybe not that much, just two. And I don't really like bagels. It's a Friday, so not, I'm good. Then I can submit that. And the order will then be uploaded to our system so we can view it and give you your order. Um, this app is very helpful because people can download it onto their phones and they don't have to leave their car ever and we can just bring it straight to you. So we would gladly answer any questions that you guys may have. I thought it was good. I like your uh, kind of matching uniforms and, and swag. I guess that's called <laughs> swag. A um, couple, couple things. One is how long does it take from the time, on average, the time from I submit an order on the app to I get it at the car? Um, it won't take long at all. So once you submit your order on the app, similar to Chick-fil-A's app or McDonald's, it comes right to our system. And then as you pull up through our lines and drop your kit off, we're able to have that order pre-made for you and just hand it to you okay. and pre-pay through the app. Does I can see how once the line gets long, then it's easier to, it doesn't slow things down, but it seems like in the beginning, as people got there when the line's not long, that it could actually, does it have the potential to cause more clogs early on? you know, early on in the line? We don't believe so because okay. keeping our menu simple and whether you like coffee with your cream, no creamer, and our one singular breakfast item, and being able to order on our app will keep it fast and no backups. Okay. Um, the other thing, and it might just be me because I'm one of the slower of the judges, is I was missing the connection. Like, I, I got you talking about the line and, and being stuck in the line, and then I got you were doing coffee, but I was, the delivery of how that actually happened at some point I thought it was there was actually like a little store and the whole school had a part of it I, I didn't to me it wasn't clear that one step of the order and then we come to the car and give it to you it was kind of implied but it and it might have just been me that I was missing that part of it um, but just just has a point in case it was there um, one other thing I would suggest is some of the slides you had, you went, they were interesting, and I was getting, and it, and it went, it was only up there for like a second or two, and you went through it. Um, if you're, if you're going to spend that little time with it, either combine it with another slide or just get rid of it. it seemed like there was a, a lot of slides that we zipped through. Um, it was good. I mean, everybody was together, but maybe some of the slides could be uh, brought down uh, for the presentation. Thanks. Wow, this was like such a tight presentation. You guys just work so well together. I love how you planned it out. Like your logo is fantastic, the app, everything. Kudos, very good. Um, I also love the partnership you have with Chick-fil-A. I mean, everyone loves Chick-fil-A. They have such a long line all the time. The fact that you talked to the owner and were able to get them to partner with you, that's amazing. Um, I guess, oh, and you already got a loan. That's fantastic. Wow. Um, was there... 
Was this business started in 2019? I was a little confused by your financials. Does this already exist? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what happened is I personally work for Sky 37, which is um, owned by Jason and Karma Crum. So what they did was they personally went to Brazil and they made their own coffee brand. So it's not any generic coffee that you'd buy at Walmart. So what it is, is um, they're a specialty coffee. So there's a whole wheel of the quality of coffee you can serve depending on the size of bean. So what they do is they get the beans directly from Brazil and roast them actually down in Greenup County and ground them at our store in Ashland. So everything is fresh. Great, so basically you're taking existing businesses and then using their yes. products to sell. Yep. Brilliant, okay. Well, thank you, I'm super impressed. Um, I just had a quick question. You guys mentioned you were going cashless. So does the app have the capability for people to pay? Or are you using something else for that? How does the payment process work there? So yes, the app would allow you to pay. Um, you can put that into your profile. And that's kind of like whether you use Apple Pay or um, your credit card or whatever. And you can just submit it so it's really quick and it won't back up any lines. Awesome. Um, I love the logo as well, so great work Thank on you. that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, great use of humor um, than that open and all. You really, you know, got our attention and it was enjoyable. Um, I didn't, I, I also was having a hard time keeping up because the enthusiasm was, was so there um, and going so quickly. Who did you get the loan from? Our, uh, our Russell administrators. We met with our administrators and they agreed to give us the loan of $350. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't really have a lot of questions really because I, you covered everything really well. Um, a little bit of feedback. Um, I'm maybe share a little more of that notion of what's the good that comes out of it in terms of like how can schools benefit? How, what, what are some examples, I guess, of how, what organizations would benefit from the money that you would get back and how much might there be and things like that? Or do you know that already or? Yes. Um, Did I so miss that? Oh, sorry. No. 10% uh, of our profit, actually, we put it back into our student organization, such as um, Future Business Leaders. And, um, yeah. And we'd like to add on the how it all kind of flows into our school lines is Russell, we have four buildings all on top of this one hill. We have the primary, the high school, the middle school, and our vocational school. So as we or as the parents bring their kids through the line, we would want to capitalize on our already established lines. And by our little concession stand that we use for our basketball games, it's actually right inside of our front door. So we will be able to operate out of that as our cars come through. Our students can also order through the app and sort of work as a cafe, but serve a double purpose. Hmm. OK. And any thoughts about doing this in the afternoon, too? Um, we could. We could I mean, I just remember, like, there would be times I would be yeah. People line up half an hour, 45 minutes before school's even out yet. I just, maybe it wouldn't be coffee or something, but something else with some of these other food partners that you have, a yeah. little sugar snack in the afternoon or something. Yeah, and getting our coffee from Sky 37, which is the business in a Sky Tower in Ashland, they've been asked to open multiple stores in downtown Russell, Ironton, Camp Landing, which is a new mall opening in Kiowa. Um, we could work out of any any place like that because um, revitalizing Russell that will bring more community down there too. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Great job. Okay, good concept for sure because most everybody likes coffee, especially adults and some children, but <laughs> probably shouldn't. Um, good presentation. We did you did cover a lot of ground, you know, very quickly. Um, and I was trying to visualize the setup of where the coffee was going to be made, and I was going to ask that question, but I think you answered that just then. It's going to be just inside the door, kind of in a concession stand setup. Um, are these going to be commercial-grade coffee makers, uh, you know, higher-level coffee makers? Just yeah, so in-store, we actually do the pour-over method, which really slows down the day, allows people to come in and enjoy their time. But bringing that to the school setting, there are automatic pour-over uh, method canisters so it'll make more coffee at a time but still that pour over method to where it pulls out more of the flavor of coffee so it's the same quality but for more cups at a time so are you going to have a continuous flow of water hooked directly into the plumbing yes we can through our concession stand okay good okay that makes all the difference okay now um, i do go to the school drop-off line every morning because i have grandchildren mm -hmm. my children are quite old and i'm real old so 
if I'm there before 730 to get in line, which kind of sounds like insanity, but that's how it works, mm -hmm. uh, I have to wait, just sit there, uh, mm -hmm. because everybody wants to be first in, first out. So if I'm there at 7.20, 7.25, and nobody can leave their cars until 7.30, and I've ordered my coffee, is somebody going to walk it to the car by identifying my car? Are they going to bring it to me before mm -hmm. they start letting people out? Yeah, we can, because we'll already have our students have like a schedule so they know when they need to be there and make sure everything is prepared for the so day. So they'll literally run it to the vehicle itself yes. and put it through the window. And yep. they've already paid through the app? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's no need works. to get out of your car. Okay, all right. And will there be tip options on the app if they want to pay? Give a tip? Make a tip? Yes, that is completely an option. I've not actually added that in, but I would love to. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you know, this is for a good cause, and everybody's working hard, and it's a good product. It sounds like a great product. And so this coffee, actually, these people that you're partnering with went to Bru Brazil mm -hmm. yep, and it's actually their own brand. come up with this unique formula. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. That's a great idea. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I just I just thought of one other question. So I, I couldn't see on the app, say um, mom and dad both come to drop off the kid. Can I order two coffees? Because it, it didn't yeah. seem like there was an option for the number of coffees. Yeah, I, um, I kind of went through that quick. But you can order two and then customize each of them. Okay, okay. There's so not, that, like, too many options because we're just trying to keep it quick. But right. you can definitely order more than one coffee. Okay. Or if I want to double chicken minis or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.